the South Carolina Gamecocks now 4-0 in midweek matchups as they take down the Citadel here in Columbia on a Tuesday night, 10-1, getting 12 hits in the process. Hello, everybody. I am Birch Ampley along with Kip Baltnight as we recap this game for you from Founders Park, South Carolina. The hit parade continues. They put up 29 runs now uh, in their last few ball games. It started with Cornell over the weekend. Now it continues with the Citadel and they used six different relievers tonight. Only one hit allowed by that bullpen. Yeah, the bullpen was outstanding. And I just – the whole pitching staff, in my opinion, Parker Coyne, even though he gave up one run and only pitched one inning tonight for South Carolina, he really made pitches when he had to. And he kept a big-time crooked number opportunity away from the Citadel tonight that, in my opinion, completely changed the complexion of this game. Outstanding job by South Carolina's pitching staff. To me, that's the big story tonight. They were outstanding. Having said that, obviously, South Carolina bats were pretty daggum good as well. Well, let's take you through the highlights, and we will start in the second inning when South Carolina was down by one run, but not for long. With two outs, Andrew Eister just completely mauling that baseball. Fourth home run of the season, second in as many games for Eister, that tied us up at one apiece. And then jumping ahead to the fifth, Carolina using the long ball again. This time the first home run of his young career, Brennan Malone, one of the deepest parts of this ballpark. And South Carolina would do it one more time. This time the sophomore Brady Allen, the 11th home run of his career, a solo shot that was just as deep as Andrew Eister's in South Carolina waves goodbye to the citadel bulldogs tonight they win 10 to 1 as they get ready for sec play against tennessee here at founders park this weekend for kip balt night in columbia i am birch Antley.